A brother in the faith just sent me this video this morning, and I just had to share it. But I'm not going to risk a copyright strike, but you do need to see this video. The Pope actually says on camera that the Bible's meaning should not be distorted for personal interests. Now, you got to understand, the leaders in Roman Catholicism are no different than the leaders in corrupt governments. What I mean is, when a corrupt politician wants to hide his evil actions, he will proclaim that people must never do what he's actually doing, so as to make it appear that he's not actually doing it because he's demanding no one should be doing it. Well, the Pope is the ultimate politician, as Rome is the father of modern politics. I mean, the fact all government buildings are built using Roman architecture lets that cat out of the bag quite openly. And so, just as a corrupt politician will say not to do as he's actually doing, this is exactly how the popes of Rome preach Catholicism. But what they fail to realize is they have been outed by their own historic past. The Pope claims we should never define Scripture so as to promote and sanctify our own personal interests. Yet, Roman Catholicism is based on personal interests to the hilt. I mean, just two examples out of hundreds is that the Bible says a bishop must be the husband of one wife. Yet, the Pope's demand all their priests must be celibate and never marry women. What the Catholic people fail to realize is, when prophesying about the popes of Rome, the prophet Daniel said that they would not have a desire for women. And that is why the Vatican has been recently outed as 98% homosexual. The Bible also says not to call any man on earth your father. Yet, the Pope not only demands you blaspheme by calling him Holy Father, every Roman Catholic priest also insists you call him Father. And this is only two of literally hundreds of things the Vatican has done to define Scripture so as to pander after their own personal interests, of which we all know has to do with paganism. In fact, they admit this in writing. Cardinal Newman admits in his book that the use of temples and these dedicated to particular saints and ornamented on occasions with branches of trees, incense, lamps, and candles, votive offerings on recovery from illness, holy water, asylums, holy days and seasons, use of calendars, processions, blessings on the field, sacerdotal vestments, the tonsure, the ring in marriage, turning to the east, images, the ecclesiastical chant, and the Kyrie eleison are all of pagan origin. And get this, he actually says this has all been sanctified by their adoption into the church, which means the church is distorting scripture for their own personal pagan interests. But if you want it stated plainly that the Pope just lied to his flock, notice this quote. The Pope said to never twist the Bible to back your own personal interests, right? But it has been declared in writing that in order to attach to Christianity great attraction in the eyes of the nobility, you know, centuries ago, the priests of the Roman Catholic Church, the priests adopted the outer garments and adornments which were used in pagan cults. And when speaking of the Roman Church, Cardinal Gibbons said the penetration of the religion of Babylon became so general and well-known that Rome was called the New Babylon. And it has also been stated in writing when speaking of the Church of Rome that it has often been charged that Catholicism is overlaid with many pagan incrustations. Catholicism is ready to accept that accusation and even to make it her boast the great god Pan, which is a pagan god, the great god Pan is not really dead, they say. They actually say he is baptized. Thank you for watching. God bless.